Hey, what up, YouTube? Okay, so um, so far we are able to sign in, register users, and also we are able to create posts. Um, in the last video, um, as you saw, we were able to create some posts, and I think we we're also able to view them. So there's still a couple of things that we need to do, but in this particular video, I want us to focus on the edit and delete functionality. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is sign in uh, with our created account. All right, so so far we have two uh, two posts, and um, now I want us to work on these two buttons over here, the edit and delete button. All right, so the edit uh, button, obviously, as you saw, uh, we're gonna edit based on the ID. So um, what I want us to do is, where are we now? Uh, we are in the show, right? Um, this is the create blade. And um, so yeah, oh, it was supposed to be on the dashboard. Okay, so first let's go to the web.php file. So in here, remember we have the parameter ID and then the edit page. And then obviously this is gonna come to the, if we go to the post controller, it's gonna come to the edit, um, uh, what you call it, method. All right, so to pull, so first let's create, uh, let's go to the dashboard page actually. And then in here, we're gonna create that route, right? And then this is gonna be blog.edit, right? This is what we named our our route, okay? And then obviously it needs the parameter. So um, in here, we are going to say post, uh, post uh, and then ID. I think that's it, right? So let's just double check. I refresh. Uh, when we hover over the edit button, as you can see at the bottom here, where my mouse is hovering, as you can see, it's supposed to give us the. Oh, come on, man! It's supposed to give us the ID of the the post. So if I click here, it's supposed to take me to that page. So now, as you can see in the URL, we've got blog one and then edit. So then now what we need to do is pull in the, pull in the, the, the post based on the ID. So let's come back here and go to the post controller. So, all right, so all we need to do is get post data, right? So here we'll say post, it will equal to post and then find or fail, all right? So we can use this particular helper uh, function because um, we are gonna pull the, 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 ID, uh, the post based on the ID, all right? Okay, so then now we just have to say return Oh, actually, sorry guys, uh, I'm in the wrong method. Apologies for that. It was supposed to be up here in the edit method. method. Uh, let's just indent this just a bit. Right. And then we say with. And then here we're gonna say post. And then this is gonna equal to post. Okay. So now if we go to the blog folder and then the edit page, so now in the input fields, for example, here and the body, um, we don't have to do it for the image, but for the body and post, we will automatically uh, place in the, the current the current title and the current uh, post body okay so that's pretty much simple all we have to do is say value and then from there we just say post title right let's save that uh, let's refresh as you can see we now have the, the title showing automatically now let's do the body 
we will do the same thing. Um, I believe here yeah, it's value. Oh, no, no, no. Actually, we just have to put in the curly braces there and then just say post body. Uh, let me just close this so you can see what I'm working with. So as you can see, make sure you put that in between uh, the text, the closing text area tag and the opening uh, what you call it, text area tag. Okay, save that and then let's refresh. All right, so that's the post body as you can see it there. Now for the image, we don't have to uh, do anything, but here's what we're gonna do. We are definitely gonna make sure we validate this field. So in the post body, uh, that's all that we need now for the, we will come back and make the action for it. So in the post body, um, remember that this field, once we, we submit this update post, it's gonna come in here where it says update, this update method, all right? So now let's come back here in the web.php file, right? So right underneath where we say edit post, I'm gonna copy that and say update post, place it there. And then here we're gonna say, uh, I'm gonna say post, right? And then this is going to come into the update method. And then this one is going to change from block to update, right? Uh, just hold on a second there. Just want to be sure what I'm doing. Okay. Now, um, okay, that's everything. So now I just wanna check the route itself. Okay. Oh, by the way, sorry for that. This is supposed to be a put method, not a post, okay? Okay, that's fine. And then we're gonna, I'm just checking my notes here. It's, Okay, now in the edit.blade.php file, uh, where's the form? This is the form. So now, obviously, uh, within HTML, we only have the options for get and post, but updates, um, the, but when it comes to updating um, information in the data, it's supposed to be a put, um, a put method. But obviously, because we don't have, have that, uh, what we what Laravel does is that it it has a function where you can place the put method within the uh, within the form itself. So firstly, let's start with the CSRF token, and then after that, we're gonna say method, and then in here we're gonna spoof it. With, we're gonna say put. So with this, we will be able to then now do a put a put request. Okay. So now. The other thing that we need, let me just double check again. So we have everything. So now we need to deal with the route. Okay, so now um, the route will be, uh, log dot update. Okay, and then here, We'll just say put, I mean, sorry, post, and then ID, right? Okay, so in the post controller in here, let's first validate. We're gonna validate the image, all right? So we'll say, this um, validate okay and then we'll say image I believe we named it the same thing right so it's body text I mean title and then image okay yeah that's fine so now we're gonna say image and then we're gonna do the same thing we did with when we were creating the post so we're gonna just copy let's just copy everything 
and then come back again to this method and then paste that in there so that we make sure we have everything. All right, so again, because the user will be updating here and there will be a point where they also upload a file, we still need to do the same process we did up here when we were creating the post, but there's gonna be a slight difference. So I'm gonna copy what we did here, come back down here where it says update and then paste that, um, paste that right after where we uh, put the, the, the validation field. Okay. Now there's another thing that I need us to do. So for example, I'm gonna get a current image, right? So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna say, um, sorry, we're gonna, we're gonna say a post, sorry, image, right, which equals to post where uh, we're gonna say our ID, right? And then we're gonna place in that ID there. And we're gonna say value, and then we're gonna get the image path. So basically this is gonna give us the name, uh, where is it? It's gonna give us this name here for the image path. I hope you guys can see that, right? So it's gonna give us that name. So basically here, we're doing the exact same thing as we did when we creating the post where the user is we're gonna check if there is an image. If, that, if there is an image, the first thing we need to do is delete the current one, right? So there's a facade for that. So what we do is in here, in the if statement, um, if there is an image attached, like a new image that the user is attached, in here we're going to delete the current one that's there. So what we do is we're going to say, um, we're going to say storage, right? Make sure this facade is imported at the top here, which is this one here, illuminate, support, facade, storage. All right, let's come back down. So here we're going to say, there's a simple method that we can use, which is delete. Okay, um, then in here, we're gonna put in an array. We're gonna say uh, public images. So now remember this, this, this is the path where the image is sitting, right? Which is in the storage, no, not this one. Uh, it's this one over here, so it's public images right and then what it's going to do is we, what we need to then do is append the image that we're getting up here from the post right so here we're going to say con we're going to concatenate that and then we're going to say um, uh, image all right so it'll go in this folder and find that image there and then delete it right And then we're gonna say um, uh, delete current image. So I'm only doing this so that um, if the user does change the image, it doesn't need to stay there any longer. It's pointless. It's just gonna take up space. So the best thing to do is just delete it uh, entirely. And then after that, after this, uh, after this check, um, it's gonna delete the current image and then proceed to do the same procedure as we did the last time where it's gonna get the new image and store it and then place it within the window and then the name of it is gonna be stored within the database. Otherwise, this very same image, the current one that's here is gonna be the current image that's gonna stay within the, um, within the uh, database. So make sure you change this one. Else if, the, if there's no file, it's gonna create the file name and then keep it as it is. All right. Um, let's see. The next thing is we need to update the post, right? So come. I'm gonna come down here. All right. So now we'll say post where. Uh, ID. 
right? And then we're gonna say update. And then we place the curly braces there for the array. And then what we're gonna do is basically we're gonna do everything that we just did uh, in here. Um, we don't need the, let me just be sure here. Yeah, we don't need the, the ID, right? So we're just updating only the post content. Then we can paste it in here. All right, so we're still gonna need the slug. We still need the title. Uh, the post body and then the name of the, the new image, right? And then we can redirect. So this time around, we're going to go back to the dashboard. And we're going to say post updated. Okay, and then the route is going to be app dot dashboard. Okay, um, I think that's pretty much it. So just to recap, we're just validating the image because that's the only field where, we'll, um, where we won't have a default value. So if he does attach an image, um, what it will do is we will still have to validate to see if it's a PNG or not. Otherwise, even if the user doesn't attach an image, here we are still doing a check to see if there is an image. Uh, if there is a file called image, um, if there is, we're gonna take the current image that we pulled from this, um, uh, from this um, uh, object over here. And then we're first gonna delete it. Then we're gonna attach the new file and then create the name for it. And then the name to store will be this one. Otherwise, the current image will stay the same. So basically, even if he doesn't attach uh, a file, um, that's fine. We're still gonna keep the same image that we had before. And then after that, we update uh, our post and then redirect to the dashboard. And while we're at it, I'm gonna come up here so that we can uh, create that success message. So let me see. I don't know if I should put it underneath underneath the the, the post uh, above or underneath. I'm not quite sure. In fact, let's just put it before the page header, right? I'm gonna cut this out um, and say if if session right then we're gonna place this here and we say alert alert um, success and then we're gonna say dot border, border success. And then I say text center. All right, and then here we're just gonna say, um, session, and then here we'll say, success okay um i'm gonna copy this as well because when we create posts um i forgot to actually display that message at the top as well so i'll do the same thing here and save it okay now uh when we create posts we'll have a success message and when we edit uh when we edit and come back to the dashboard, we will also have a success message. We could still go back to the edit, but I don't think we need to do that. So, right, let's let's save that and refresh. All right, so remember, uh, let's go back actually. 
the one that I wanted to change was this one. So if you remember, I said five best fruit salad ideas, and these are not fruits, they're veggies. So let's change the title of this uh, post. So let's go back and say edit, right? So let's just say, um, uh, let's change that from fruit to best five veggie, veggie salad ideas right so remember it was fruit and then it was instead of veggie it uh we it was fruit so instead of that we're saying veggie all right so i'm not gonna attach an image right so just so you know as you can see there's only two images in here so you'll see that it will still stay there and then we will still have the same image after we update so i'm gonna say update post uh Okay, why? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, that didn't do anything. Uh, okay, uh, my ID is that ID? Yeah, that's fine. Uh, let's see. This is a pull request update. Uh, did I refresh? I think I did. Let me change it again. Okay, something is not right. So let's come back. So it's update. And then we're going to redirect back to app.dashboard success poster. Huh, so something is not right. Uh, let me see. Uh, edit post. Okay, there's a put request. Uh, action is route blog dot update and then post ID. So why is it not working? Uh, button types admit update post. So why is it not working? Um, Okay, something's not right here. Uh, put request, post controller. Oh, I see what the issue is. Uh, okay, because I said the image is required, that is why it's it's not submitting the form. Uh, it's basically coming back uh, and, and uh, giving me an error. So I have to remove the required uh, function. I mean, the required uh, parameter there. Okay, so basically, um, um, I have to change also and say, sorry, it's supposed to be nullable, right? So um, my apologies for that. So make sure you put that as nullable so that it doesn't require the image. But you're doing this so that in case if the user does add the image, um, it will still validate to see if it's a PNG or a JPEG file. So my bad for that. Uh, let me just refresh again. Uh, change food from veggie. And then let's say update post. Okay, so 
it's not updated successfully. And then as you can see, the veggie, the veggie part, the title has veggie. So if you click here, so it's no longer saying fruits, it's now saying veggie. So now let's do the update, but by changing the image or rather let's change the other one's image. Okay, so this one's image is, I don't know what this is, but um, let's see. Let's say something about coffees. So as you can see, blog image two has a coffee there. So let's change this one. All right. So now let's say edit. Uh, uh, to, let's just say take note of right and then change let's change the image so we're going to select uh this image here blog image 2 click open right and say update post all right so as you can see it says posted uh post updated successfully and then the title as well changed so if we click view as you can see now the image has also changed and then if we come back here to our folder um Okay, so it didn't delete, didn't delete the first image. Yeah, so clearly we didn't do something right there. Uh, boom, boom, boom. Okay, that's fine. We'll look into that. All right, so this function here didn't work. It was supposed to delete the, the image. Oh, I think I'm missing a trailing slash here. That's probably why it didn't work. Um, all right, let's try again. Let's delete this image, the coffee one, right? And let's just go and say, um, edit. Let's see if there's another coffee image that we have in, uh, in our library. Okay, we don't. So let's just say, let's take this one. I see some strawberries there. So let's say open. And then let's change that from, um, That's a long title, but let's try this one. So this time what we're gonna do is, as you can see, there's about three images in here. So it's supposed to delete, I believe the, sec the, the first one, the one that says blog image two. So let's see if that works because that should be the one that's currently, that's the current image, All right? So let's say update post, okay, let's say view. All right, so as you can see, our image has changed. So now let's check and see if it did delete the image. Uh, I'm going to refresh. So as you can see, blog image two is no longer there. So I think the mistake I made was that I forgot to put a trailing, I, I forgot to put a forward slash there before the image. Okay, so uh, which one is this one? Uh, this is the one that didn't get deleted. So I'm going to manually delete it now. And then we should only have two images in there. All right, so again, let's try again and see everything is still in order if i come back here uh, everything is still in order all right so now we can edit and delete um, uh, images uh, the one last thing we can do is to create the delete button so that we are able to delete posts okay so now let's do this uh, we're gonna come down here in the destroy method okay so um, it's going to be pretty much simple. We're going to do the same thing where we have to get the uh, the image. So we're going to copy this one here, right? And we're going to paste it there. So we're going to get the current image, right? And then here we're going to say post where um, ID. Uh, is equal to that ID that's passed in through the parameter. And then we're just going to call a method called delete. 
right? But because we are, um, we still have images, we don't want a post to be deleted, but then the image is gonna stay within the, uh, within the, within the folder. So we're gonna make sure that we delete that as well. And then we pretty much gonna do the exact same thing we did here within the if block for attaching the file. We're gonna copy this, and then we're gonna come here. Um, I think we can first. Right, I believe this is how I did it the last time. Uh, so we first get the image, okay, and then we get the post where ID equals that, and then we then delete the image itself. So after that, you say re return re no no return back. Uh, we're just gonna go back to the dashboard because that's where we're gonna be deleting the image from. So, and then we're going to say with, um, uh, success, right? And then we're going to say post deleted success, uh, fully. Um, but Okay, I think that's all we need. So let's come back to the dashboard page, right? And then here we need to do the exact same thing where, oh no, actually this is gonna be different. It's not the same. Um, okay, just hold on. So remember, um, when we click this button, we need to do the same thing as, as when we uh, do the sign up. I mean the site the sign out uh, functionality. So here we'll say form right. We're gonna add the CSRF token. All right, and then the the delete method also has um a, a Laravel also has a function to create uh to spoof a delete request. So just like how we did with the update, what we now need to do is say um, uh, method and then this time instead of put we're gonna say delete all right okay and then we need to give this form an id the id is gonna be uh, delete post okay all right so now This button over here is going to submit the form. So let's do this. Right after the class, we'll say on click right event dot prevent right, and then after that, we're going to say document. Uh, let me put let me close this so we can see it and I'm gonna put this on new lines so that we see what's going on. Okay. Okay. And it's gonna be dot submit. Right, so the ID is delete post. Uh, why is it doing that? Oh, okay. Right, so it's basically gonna submit this particular form here. So, but now in the web, the PHP file here, we need to put a, uh, we need to create a delete request and then just like the update it also has its own put uh, it also has its own method so which is going to be delete All right and then here is going to be destroy so this is the uh, this is going to call this method over here okay and then I believe we need the ID 
let me just check my notes uh yes so here we'll just change this from edit to destroy the id can just stay there you don't need to change it um all right and then what else i believe that's pretty much it uh we need to then come back to the dashboard and then here in the action we're gonna say route uh, my apologies um i need to change the, the name so it has to be destroy and then let's copy it all right come back to the dashboard and here we're gonna say destroy and then remember we're gonna place him uh post id okay so let's see i think that's pretty much all we need so uh we got the id which we are going to submit here by clicking the delete button and then post id okay so let's just refresh and see um so let me see i think i can delete let me view this one I think we can delete this one. Uh, let's just see if it works. Method. Okay. What did I do here? Uh, delete. Um, oh, my apologies, I've got to add the post method. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, so let's try again. When I just refresh from here, okay, let's go back, refresh again, and say delete. All right, so as you can see, it says post deleted successfully um i think for the delete method let's just give it a different color so that you can differentiate between uh updating the post successfully and deleting the post so for this i'm going to give it a warning color so uh let's just copy uh let's just copy this one here and then this one will be specifically for deleting posts uh the message i mean so i'm going to say warning let me say, let's just call it delete warning, right? Uh, let's copy that, change it there. And then here, instead of success, we will say warning. And then the border as well, we'll say warning, right? And then we're gonna come back to the post. So here, instead of success as well, will say delete warning right so now let's just double check because since we deleted that post um as you can see the image is no longer showing right um so we managed to successfully delete the, that particular post so let's create another one right uh let's create another one uh how to make pancakes let's see and then let's copy the text paste it there choose a file let's look for a file that has pancakes i don't think i have one uh, let's see uh, i don't think i have one uh, let's just say um uh, let's just say lem let's choose this one with the lemonade and then i think i have uh, how to make lemonade right so let's create that post right post created successfully let's go back to the dashboard and then there's our lemonade right and then if you check it we have our lemonade image and the text if we go back 
uh, let's delete the one with the veggies or oh, wait before we delete it so now let's refresh in here as you can see now we have two images blog image 11 blog image uh, blog image 12 so i'm going to delete the, the the last blog post we had and so this blog image 12 should be removed after i delete it so so if i come back i think it's the five best veggies so we're going to say delete and then as you can see when we've deleted the image then we're going to get this post deleted successfully but with the background with the warning um the the yellow color instead of the other uh, green so at least now we can differentiate between what happened and so forth so um let's come back here as you can see blog image blog image uh, 12 is gone along with here all right so we are now able to delete, update, uh, and create posts. Um, we are also able to clean up a little bit so that these images don't get orphaned and they are sitting within the, the, the folder there with no uh, blog associated with it. So at least now when we create posts, we can add images and then when we delete or update, we can change or remove them completely. All right, so I think this video uh, is long enough. Um, I think we can end it here. Uh, we still have a couple of things to do, such as, for example, if we go here, uh, we still need to display the posts, regardless of whether or not the user is logged in or not. So um, um, let's see. Um, oh, yeah, we need to also create a drop down, uh, but we will change this button later on. Uh, we need to create a drop down where we can go back to the dashboard and so forth. All right, so I think we can end the video here and then in the next video, we'll try to clean up some things. For example, we like displaying the blog posts here within the index page of the blog posts along with uh, uh, down here um, at the home page. All right, so I'm gonna sign this one out and then we should be back on the home page. All right, guys, so uh, that's it for the video. Um, uh, like before, if you haven't done so already, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And uh, I'll see you guys within the next video. Uh, thanks again for watching, and cheers for now.